Blackpool, uh, a one-one draw away at Southport today. It's not the the result that you would have been looking for. Uh, what's your assessment of the performance today? I thought we started quite slow. Uh, to be honest, I thought we allowed Southport to not not play the way into our defensive third, but we allowed them to to get there and cause problems with with uh, Doug Thames long throw um, set pieces. Um, but we weren't at it. We weren't at it from the off. Uh, we were flat, and then the goal seemed to wake us up. Um, and then we scored a good goal ourselves. And then we've we've grew into the game. And then second half, for me, it was one way. Um, apart from the last five minutes, where we've, we've gone four two four, going for the win, and they've they've counted on us a couple of times. We probably should do better, but you know the chances we've created in the in the game, if you come away winning four one. Probably not unjust. Um, but having said that, you've got a score to, to come away with that scoreline, and we didn't. Um, that's the biggest disappointment today is the fact that we created a, a lot of chances again that, that went begging, and, and um, you know we we have to have that composure to to win games. And, and whilst it's okay, all well and good saying, oh, well, we're creating chances. You got you got to finish them. We created loads of chances that we had on Saturday. You got to finish them. You got to you got to put put teams to the sword, and, and we didn't do that today. Um, and that's why we only got a point. I mean, you will obviously be aware of the permutations uh, going into Saturday now, and, and, and the way. It, I mean, I'm, you, you know, I don't know if you've been kept abreast of things during the game at all, or did, did you have an idea? Of yeah, it? yeah, I did. Yeah, I got a, got a word in the ear to say. Um, I think Farsley equalised just on half time. Guysley scored uh, ten to go or something. Um, so yeah, but. As I say, we were still going for the game, and we're still going for the win. So that's my main, you know, focus and concentration. You know, mm. can't can't do anything about something that's going on 60, 70 miles away. Um, you know, maybe 20, 30 yards on the pitch is, you know, I've got a bit more chance of influencing. Um, but like I say, get ready. Uh, we'll rest after the weekend. There's a few lads played 90 both games. Get them recovered. Train Thursday. Be be organised. Get ready set pieces and an organisation and look to get the win on Saturday Sure, I mean I'm very struck by the fact that you know after a result that clearly must be a disappointment to you today uh, that, that you didn't get the victory that you know you've not hit in the dressing room you come straight out you've spoken to the folks on the radio and to Lewis from the newspaper and myself straight away I get the impression that's really important for you to be that sort of figurehead and that and that positive you know yeah, as the manager because as as much as as much as you can only do so much for the players once the once they cross the white line, the old cliche, um, you know, you've still got to you've still got to show that there's it's it's within our control. Um, you know, it's how we've always wanted it. When I first came in, we were we were, we were bottom of the league. Um, we were we were way down there. We've we've had a good scrap to. You know, to make it what it is, um, we've had a big turnover, um, and I believe we've got enough in the in the squad to to definitely win next week. Um, I've said it said it a couple of weeks ago about the games and how tight they've been against against opponents who've been challenging or going for the league or going for promotion, um, and that hasn't changed. That's that's kept going because until last week these could still get in the playoffs, and we've been a much better side for the for the you know the big periods of the game. Um, so yeah, just it is what it is. We've got to deal with it, and we've got to we've got to deal with it in the right way, and and that's be, you know, be disappointed, but take that and channel that into into next week's uh, game against you. Sure, um, a bit of an injury for Byron Moore in the game today, which probably well must have disrupted your, your plan a little bit in the first half. Is he going to be a deck for Saturday at all? Or? Well, right now, he's, he's jumped up and as he's come down, he's, I think he's landed and, and he's rocked his ankle a little bit. Um, I don't think it's, it's you know, it's not life-threatening by any means, but, you know, it was bad enough for him to come off. Um, I thought he was just getting into the game as it, as it happened as well. Um, but I felt Marshy came on and, and, and done really well, you know, played the partner goal. It was a constant threat. He hit the bar. Um you know, and possibly um, had had a couple of opportunities where had the pass been right to him. He, you know, he could have done a bit more, but 
like you say, um, we'll see how Byron is this, this next couple of days. He'll get some treatments and get assessed and hopefully it'll be all right. Sure. And you mentioned as well that Harry Flowers might be available for Saturday as well with his three-game suspension expired today. Yeah, Harry will be, Harry will be uh, available for next Saturday. So that's obviously a boost for the squad. Um, you know, so so yeah. So other than other than Byron's knock, I think there's a few few bumps and bruises, but nothing to be expected. It's you know it's football. Um, a few tired legs, which some of them have played ninety uh, for both games over the over the weekend. So uh, so yeah, we'll get them rested, get them recovered, and uh, and get ready and prepared on Thursday for for York. Sure, and you were well backed on, on the road today as well. I think it was close to 190 Telford fans here. You, you'd be looking for the same, you know, a big home crowd on Saturday to try yeah, and push us over the line. The fans were, I said it on the radio, the fans were great. Uh, the fans were constantly really applauded the lads off at the end because they could see, we, you know, we're trying. You know, Keats goes through, he doesn't, he doesn't mean to put it wide of the post. A little bit of composure, a little bit more um, decisiveness and being clinical and being ruthless. Um, but it wasn't for lack of effort, certainly, and at, and at times it wasn't for lack of quality because we showed some good quality at times. We just we just lacked that quality to to make make the chances count and turn them into goals. We got to put that right. We got one last game, one big cup final to go at, and, uh, and we'll be ready. And you said you didn't expect any gifts from Liam today as well, and you didn't get any, did you? No, but it's, uh, we wouldn't. But we, we wouldn't do. It. Liam wants to win. You know they've been on a on a horrendous run, um, so he will always want to win. So that's that's how he is. So I, I, I would never expect any anything other than that. Um, you know it, 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 it's in our hands. Where we are is in our hands, and, and we've got to make sure that we we grasp that and we we make that count. Okay, really appreciate uh, appreciate your time, Paul. Thanks very much indeed. Cheers. Cheers.